Hello, this is Rüdiger from Conscience and this is my very first podcast and it's about the album Hardware Revisited and why I made it, circumstances, um, what about the old uh, original version and something about the new single The Reason. So, um, where to start? Why did I make um, Hardware Revisited? It was uh, last year that I uh, searched my archives for unreleased stuff and I found a digital audio tape with the instrumental versions um, of hardware. Not of all tracks, I'm coming back to that later. And um, I listened to them and it said, well, it still sounds nice and I uh, didn't like the final result back then in 1997 when the original version of hardware was released so i decided to to do some uh, updates to uh, re-sing every track and uh, add some sounds here and then and uh, doing a bit of mixing and, pr and improvements and uh, that's about it sounds easy but um, it turned out that it wasn't that easy because the original versions had some flaws, some uh, uh, very high frequencies that were not easy to tame. And also in the low frequencies there, are, there were lots of uh, problems. I tried to fix uh, most of them, but um, in the end the result sounds still a little bit rough, but that's okay because it uh, represents my, my kind of work or, or the way I worked um, back then in that time. So let's um, just uh, look at the old version of hardware and um, how it was made and the circumstances. Uh, it was back in 1996 where I started recording something for uh, the original hardware tape it, which uh, was in the end released as a tape and um, I hadn't got my full equipment at hand some synthesizers were uh, at a friend and so I basically made it uh, as far as I remember on the EPS and Sonic sampler and uh, the Yamaha TG500 and the Waldorf Microwave these were the main instruments I used which gave the recordings a special overall sound uh, I didn't achieve before. So limitation isn't always something bad. But in that time um, I was not in my best shape or I don't know how to, how to place it. Um, it, it was it was a difficult time for me, let's say that, and um, so so were the recordings. They were not really easy to do. I had to do the vocals um, in a room uh, of my friend who recorded the vocals, and he was present and then in the same room, and uh, that was a situation I I, uh, I haven't done before it that way. I always recorded everything on my own but that wasn't uh, possible at the time because of the equipment and um, those things together led to results I'm, I'm uh, not pleased with. I wasn't pleased with them um, at the time also and um, I used a, a cheap microphone, I, I still have it somewhere and yeah, it was uh, nearly a live recording. We hadn't um, the possibility to uh, do some overdubs or such things. Um, there were every every synthesizer was playing while I was singing, and we recorded it uh, on on that on a digital audio tape. Um, everything at once, so there was no possibility to do uh, some some edits of the vocals to do. Um, um, a second track, uh, doubling the vocals, wasn't uh, possible at that time. Uh, we hadn't uh, any compression uh, in the signals, there was no uh, a compressor in, in uh, the setup, um, which 
led to, to the problem I had with the re-recordings because uh, everything was very dynamic, uh, was uh, hard to tame and um, yeah, this, this uh, led to the, the special kind of sound. But um, back in the time we didn't care about that because the main goal was always to do uh, a good demo to send this demo to uh, a label and then uh, after signing a contract to record it properly in the studio which obviously didn't happen and uh, although I have uh, a record deal by now uh, this never happened I never uh, recorded anything in a, in a studio I just um, expanded my own studio and my knowledge about the things uh, which I have to do. Back then uh, we, we didn't know and I didn't know anything about uh, mixing and all this stuff. Well, and that's uh, that was the result. Uh, well, ironically this tape uh, recording led in the end uh, to my first record deal. Afterwards, I guess it was in 1998, I released um, my first EP on CD, the hardware EP, which contained four tracks of the hardware tape. And those versions are still slightly a bit different to the old ones on the tape and of course different to the ones uh, you can hear on Hardware Revisited. So what's new or what's different in the new recordings? Uh, as I already said, I added some things. Um, I added some guitars. Um, the only track with guitars on the original version was uh, The Open Door. And uh, now nearly every track has some guitars on it, um, but not all the way through. I added some synth tracks and of course we recorded all the vocals. And uh, I had to do some adjustments to the, the, to the track list because not all versions um, were available as an instrumental version. Um, there was um, a special mix of I Could Fly, originally from the tape scope, and there was no instrumental, so I uh, left it out. And therefore, I took the truth, uh, it's always hard to accept as an um, replacement. This track was already released as a bonus track, uh, also as a demo, um, with the uh, digital version of hardware. And so I re-recorded uh, this in the same manner as the other tracks. And uh, there was uh, one track which was originally uh, recorded in 1994 and didn't fit on the tape scope, which was the tape before hardware. Um, for some reason I put it uh, on, on hardware back then and there, were also, there was also no um, instrumental version of that. So I had to re-record this track from scratch using some of the old sounds which I could uh, preserve or which I could reprogram in, in the synthesizers. And um, uh, the single The Reason, which is out on um, August the 16th now, and this also marks the 30th anniversary of Conscience, which was uh, really founded 30 years ago on August the 16th in 1991. It was uh, the day I bought my very first synthesizer, the Yamaha SY22, and um, I started making music. And so the album Hardware Revisited will follow in September, I guess. And well, that's about uh, the 30th anniversary of, of Conscience. I thought it was a, it was a good uh, opportunity to um, re-release this uh, recording and to, uh, to fix some flaws from the past and uh, just make it better. So I think that's about it. And um, there's also a new album in preparation, which uh, will take some time to finish and uh, hopefully there will be something out uh, next year and in the meantime enjoy the new single the reason and the album hardware revisited thank you for listening and bye <laughs>